Howdy campers, welcome to your 35th Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about NoSQL databases and MongoDB. Alright, so I just wanted to briefly break from our to-do app just to talk about NoSQL databases and in particular MongoDB because that's what we're going to use in our to-do app. So, what is a NoSQL database? Well, it's just an alternative to an SQL database. So instead of this notion of tables with rows and columns in SQL databases, instead we're going to uh, adopt this idea of storing documents or if you like, JSON objects, which is really cool because JSON works really well with JavaScript and therefore also Node.js. So in our example, when we've created a to-do app, the kind of JSON that we can store is something like this, just a series of objects with our to-do items. And then we can easily access this data, manipulate it and send it back using MongoDB. Okay, so you can find out more about MongoDB at mongodb.com and you can also download a copy to your computer and run a local version of it as well. However, in this tutorial, I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna use a hosted version which is provided by MLab. So you can find this website at mlab.com and I'll also leave that link down below as well. So you can see that using MLab we can create a database which is stored on the cloud. Then we can connect to that database in our code and we can interact with it. So we can add items, delete items, um, update them. So it's really easy to get started with MongoDB using MLab. So what you want to do is head to this website and then sign up for a free account. I've already done that, so I'm just going to hit login and log into my account. So I've already gone ahead and created a database for you to see. Uh, now don't worry, I'm going to walk you through the steps of creating one from scratch in the next tutorial when we start to create a database for our application. I just wanted to show you in this tutorial what it looks like. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to show me the different collections in this database. So right here it says collections and you can see I've got a collection called to-dos and there's four documents inside this. So let's have a look what's inside it. And there we go. So there's four documents and each one is basically just a JSON object with this item in it and you can see each item is just a to-do item. Okay, pretty cool. So we can use MLAP to store our JSON objects and then we can interact with those JSON objects in Node.js. Uh, Node and speaking of interacting with the database, to do that in Node, I'm gonna be using a package called Mongoose. So you can find that on the NPM registry. Just type in Mongoose here and it's gonna come right up. And uh, Mongoose is really good. It provides us with a really clean way of communicating back and forth with our Mongo database. Okay, so we're gonna be using this and installing it in the very next tutorial. So there we go, that is what NoSQL databases and MongoDB is all about. In the next tutorial, we're gonna carry on with our to-do app, install Mongoose and create a database to connect with. Any questions so far, leave those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.